Regional Technology Management and Business Planning Unit is the new initiative which are being taken in 2009 by the Indian Council of Agriculture Research. It is a unit established in Indian Agriculture Research Institute, IARI, which is known, also known as a PUSA Institute. Uh, basically, uh, the, why uh, these EU units has been established with the purpose that we want to communicate with the outside world. This is a one-stop window for interacting with the industry. Initially, when these units were established, we were focusing on IP management and technology commercialization, and the fund was given under the NAIP project, which was being funded by the World Bank. Then later on, it has been also uh, realized that incubation is also in a one a major activity that uh, which is agriculture uh, needs focus on in this area also. So that's how we have taken the agribusiness incubator part in this unit. And now it has been renamed as Pusa Krishi Incubator. Under the incubation part, because uh, you will see that this incubator has been established in a research institute. So our major forte is that it is a agribusiness technology incubator. Our major forte is technology, technical strength. We have the huge infrastructure at the back end, at the parent organization, and the huge technical experts in all the domain of agriculture. Here in IRI, we are offering a master's degree and the postdoctorate degree in 23 discipline. So practically, you can see that is our strength. And these kind of, uh, uh, if any incubate or the startup has come up with some of the prototype or an idea, so their validation, their refinement, we can help them technically, as well as if they need some infrastructure at the back end, which uh, because the startup are very young and they do not have that much money to have their own that kind of infrastructure, so that we can leverage our infrastructure to, uh, to them so that they can use it, they can uh, get the training how to use it and then they can develop their product. Incubator is now a buzzword said everybody is having this kind of incubator but uh, this Pusai Krishi incubator is somewhat different because I have already said that technology is our forte. So technical mentoring, technical strength which and technical laboratories, infrastructure, which are not being offered by so many of the incubators, so we are offering that. Apart from that, uh, we are also focusing on the business part. And another very good uh, support that we are providing is the IP support. And another is because you know that we are here to organize some of the very big fair that uh, you may be uh, aware of the Krishi Unati Mela. So under that, we also provide a chance to our incubators to showcase their product. So in fact, we give them a marketing platform as well as the networking platform. So these are some of the uniqueness that we are offering to our incubators. As of now in ICR, there are 25 agribusiness incubators which are being established under the NAIF scheme. And if I talk about the JTM BPD unit, which are being renamed as Pusa Krishi Incubator in IRI, we, we first cohort we took in 2014. And after that, we took the second cohort in 2016. Out of these two cohorts, we have taken 53 startups and 34 has already been graduated and another uh, seven or eight, uh, eight startups are still working with them and now we got the grant under TST funding that, that is Nidhi TBI and another very big initiative which the Ministry of Agriculture has taken by launching their scheme RKBY Raftar. And for that scheme, uh, IARI has been, in fact, Pusa Krishi Incubator has been nominated as a knowledge partner in which we are uh, helping them to establish the new incubators in agriculture universities per se, but uh, nevertheless, the another public funding uh, research institution that exercise is going on at the ministry level. Recently, uh, to amplify our activity, we have launched our 
incubation program named uh, with a name as upja the application calls are open and the last date for applying under this program is 27th of january so i'll invite all of you to please uh, apply for that application and you can also uh, means uh, there are link for f6s uh, uh, portal and as well as startup india benefits that uh, you may get by applying under this uh, uh, program first of all and uh, we are expecting we will be selecting there will be a two level of selection basically on technical as well as on the mentoring uh, business part we will be seeing that if the te uh, technology is viable at technical end and as well as on the business part so we will be selecting them uh, and we will be taking little bit uh, startup who has little bit uh, uh, started their journey basically we are looking for the minimum viable product and once they got selected they will be with us for two months and in which we will be having their practical exercises and technology refinement if they need and another is the connect with the industry experts so that and we will be trying to provide them the market connect as well and so that they can refine their technology as well as business part and at the end of the two months program there will be further evaluation at our level at our level and as well as the ministerial level and once they will be uh, another at uh, this level the selected participant or the selected startup will get the grant in aid up to 25 lakh and which uh, then they will be with us till March 2020 to expand their project and to get that. So uh, in between, we will be providing them the networking as well as the marketing platform. So this is a first kind of initiative being taken by Ministry of Agriculture to support the agri startup. So I invite all of you to take this advantage of this initiative. From five years or, uh, from now, I look uh, my uh, this incubator, we envisage that this will be one of the best incubator, uh, at least in Asian region, not at the world level, at least at the Asian region, because in the, uh, the Raftar scheme has also given us a platform to handhold the incubator. So that is one strength that we will be having that we can uh, handhold uh, to pro uh, we can give them a roadmap uh, to the new incubators how to plan themselves how to manage themselves as well as as far as the startup uh, part is concerned we will be looking from the uh, angle that uh, if we can uh, create a fund and we can give them the series a or series b funding so uh, my goal is uh, because at this stage the funding is really in a challenge so if we can create some kind of mechanism by which they can be benefited in the future. For the young startup, I would like to say that agriculture is responsible for 50% of the workforce as far as the employment is concerned. And for agriculture, you can, if there is an economic recession, you can put everything aside, but the food, uh, that is a basic necessity that you cannot so it means if recession even during the recession period agriculture is somewhat that will not be that much badly affected uh, uh, from that economic situation so that gives a huge opportunity for each and every startup to come and another is if you see the agriculture uh, starting from the sowing part, preparation of the band and till the last part of the value addition and to the consumers, uh, each and every operation requires the innovation. Each and every operation we need some uh, operational efficiency, we need that it should be simplified, we need that it should be cost effective, it should be eco-friendly. So this is a huge challenge. So anyone can think of Ki what he would like to do. Uh, it is such a uh, big sector that every skill set is required starting from the agri finance, starting from the IoT or it is agri AI in agriculture. So the new technologies that we are looking, they can provide some of the solution for the betterment of the society at large. 
so if you have something if you have some dream so this can be your sector in which you can play your part i'm very happy the kind of support iit is providing in um, uh, publicizing this kind of uh, program and the incubator require this kind of support off and on so we look forward this kind of support from iit in future too and my good wishes to iit